Hello, my name is Mark, and I'd like to welcome you to the Laserbrook Farm. Today, I'm going to turn the short garage door into this. My garage is a steel building with three standard 9x7 garage doors. I found a replacement garage door on Craigslist, and I plan on using one of the panels from the old door in the future to expand this door. I'm going to fully disassemble the existing door before I start ripping everything else apart. Then I'm going to disassemble the overhead torsion spring, and I'll be saving these parts for later. I do apologize with some of the uh, camera work from my head camera. Uh, my positioning was a little bit off, but you'll get the idea. Here I'm disassembling the horizontal tracks, and I'll be setting these aside to use later. garage door no longer in place, I can start removing the nails holding the aluminum siding in place. Here I'm using my sawzall to cut the nails that go into the header. I do plan on using a few of these boards later uh, to create my new header. Now that the header's gone, I can start removing the jack studs. I ended up just leaving the side flashing in place so I could remove it later when it's back on the ground. Oh, that doesn't look good. Well, maybe it'll be okay. That's not good. Oh no, that, yeah, that's really not good. Yeah, that, that really is not good. Okay, I'm gonna have to replace these kink studs too. As you can see, there's no actual wood really left there, so I'm gonna have to replace these. I'm replacing both the king and the jack studs with PT lumber just to reduce the chance of that happening again. I'm creating a notch to go around that steel header beam that's in place so I have some meat up there that I can bolt the torsion spring to. Here I'm attaching the horizontal 2x4s to the king stud. In this garage, all of the weight is taken by the steel structure, and really these 2x4s are just there to hold on the metal siding. Now that I've got both the king studs in place, it's time to secure the jack stud. Since this is not a normal stick frame built building, but more of a steel structure, I don't have the loads that need to be supported by this header. So this is actually overkill doing two 2x8s. All they're really doing is holding up the siding. 
Now here's the satisfying bit, actually cutting the opening. It was a little bit nerve-wracking, but it came down pretty quick. Just use a metal blade in my sawzall and ran it alongside of the header. The last thing left for this opening is to stall the trim and the drip edge. I learned pretty quick that it's hard to drive a nail into both the siding and the drip edge at the same time, so I recommend pre-drilling whenever possible. Unfortunately, it was getting late in the day and I ended up having to stop here. Join me again next time where I'll install the garage door, modify the track to go up and follow the roof line, and get the new set of torsion springs installed.